I'm at four seconds. I'm at three seconds. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just fucking around with you. So, anyways, you're still there? Yep. Yep, I'm here. Awesome. So now I've got you talking to me that goes into our video here. So I got the one GoPro kind of doing a profile shot at me. And I did bring some extra GoPro ha pads. So worst case scenario, if you want, we can always throw a GoPro onto you. And then, oh, okay. then we got this other GoPro here, which now I can see you and it, everybody else can see you in my mirror. There we go. <laughs> who's doing my front profile. So, yep. what are we today? I don't even know. We're the 27th? Um, uh, yeah, I think so. Cause, so. Yeah, that's right. Because I'm flying out on the 28th. Yeah. yeah, so 27th of May. And I am here with Mr. John and myself. So it's just a small group of us two. Uh, we both uh, the popular guys here. Heading up to Russo Point. So, welcome to another episode of A Dire, It's a Dire Thing. Mr. John, you welcome aboard to my first uh, video moto vlog of 20, uh, 2017. Buzzing around, breaking in my brand new Yamaha FZ09 ABS. John, you are riding your Hayabusa. 1300 monster of a motorcycle and we are currently heading to Bracebridge on road 118 so we just finished doing the 35 north and now we're just kind of getting into a Bracebridge area through this awesome scenery of a ride so John tell me your life story my life story <laughs> oh my goodness no. <laughs> So I don't know. I mean, how did we end up? We ended up meeting through through Justin, right? That's it. Yeah. And uh, I think it was at. I don't know if it started off as a ride that we met up that way, or if it was just at one of uh, Justin Bolding's parties, right? So um, I know all my viewers have met Justin Bolding due to, through the uh, one of our videos that we did uh, last year. Yeah. Which, uh, mind you, actually, I want to take two seconds here. I just wanted to say a, a big thank you. And a shout out to uh, all my followers. I got 75 subscribers. And uh, I just wanted to say uh, a huge thanks. We've been doing the, these uh, vlogs now for just over a year. And uh, so yeah, so you and I, John, I think we kind of, uh, and I'm trying to remember if we met up through one of John's party, uh, one of Justin's parties, or if it yeah. was when he was riding around with his, uh, his V-Star. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think we first met um, even before that in, at one of his parties. At when one he of, first kind of got together with Colleen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even know Justin then either, right? So. Yeah. And then it wasn't until he got his bike, and then that's when I started to hang around with him a little bit more. I was like, oh, okay, you know, this guy's decent. You know, he bought a Yamaha, so I should give him a try, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's where you kind of were at one of his summer parties or whatnot like that, and then I think... You were mentioning that you had bikes and, and an FZ, and then we, and I think that's where it was. It was one of the first rides we did when we all went to uh, Kingston. Yeah. Because you had the FZ6. Oh, no, no. We went on a ride before that. Did we remember? do a ride? Yeah, I was on my boulevard at the time. Okay. Remember? And then you actually tried out my boulevard? Yes. You, <laughs> that was the worst fucking ride of my life. <laughs> and you're complaining about how hard the seat was. Oh my god, dude. That was that was not even a seat. That was just like that was sitting on this rock here and let's let's do six hundred kilometers. Yeah. I was more scared of the freaking spikes that you had everywhere. It was like if I had to stop suddenly or, or if there's any kind of yeah, any kind of an emergency. I mean I am stuck to this bike because I'll I'll just be impaled by all these fucking spikes that you had. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, well, you'd only be impaled if you went over the handlebars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't even go because it would just kind of stick you right there. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember that because even you were like, and then, and I, what did I have? I had the striker or? The, the striker, yeah. I had the striker because, yeah, because we swapped out bikes too. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, oh, okay, I want my bike back now. <laughs> 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 it was quite fun. But, yeah, that's when we did the first time of the Southwood Road. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle of nowhere, there's a bunch of boats there. It's just like, whatever. But yeah, no, riding northbound of Ontario is absolutely fantastic place. I love, I love riding up here. I've, sure. Luckily enough, I've never come across any, uh, any wildlife. So, except for now, we're getting a whole lot of fluffies in the air, which I keep getting in my helmet. 
and it, it always finds it tends to find the quickest route to up your nostril it's just like you know these little white fluffy bits yeah. there's a chip right up the nose and it just tickles so. so let's see let's get a bit of history from john so john john is you're a whole lot of stuff you, you <laughs> <laughs> You're, yeah, you're, yeah, I mean, the thing we used to have in common, unfortunately, I, I lost that. You guys have seen that from previous videos, is the, uh, is the Taekwondo. So now, John, you are a, a master. Yeah, well, right now, it's, uh, it's the master title because I'm a sixth stamp uh, black belt. Black belt. And you, uh, but and, uh, in terms of the length of time that I've been doing Taekwondo, you know, I went through the stage when I was in my teenage years. Yep. Where I decided that going up the level of belt no longer mattered. Um, I was competing as a second degree black belt and I was winning a lot of competitions. So I thought, well, you know, what does it matter if I go for my third degree or my fourth degree? You know, it makes no difference because I'm still competing. Still competing at that level. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so there was about a 14 year period where I never tested for my next level of belt. So I stayed as a second degree black belt for like 14 years. And uh, the only reason why I went on was because I started to realize that a lot of the guys, like um, guys that I trained with, or the guys that you know were white belt when I was a black belt, were now at my same level, or now they're starting to pass me. <laughs> okay. So that kind of motivated me to move on to my next level, my third degree, and then so on and so on. Um, but based on, I guess, the number of years that I've been doing taekwondo, yep. I mean, I should probably be somewhere near around the eighth degree. Because I started in 1976. And when was it you decided to open up your, your first uh, location? Oh, uh, 97. So uh, that's when I decided to open up my own place and, um, and kind of just be my own boss. And uh, it's been a fantastic experience. And uh, I'm so glad I did it. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's really cool. Totally. Yeah. And now you got now you guys and, and as you were saying this morning, so you have students. I mean, traveling almost worldwide. There's there's times where they're they're going overseas, and now you got some uh, way at the other end of, of Canada right now that are actually competing as well on yeah, a, well, on a right we international have, uh, level. Yeah, we have uh, right now. I think it's nine competitors competing at the nationals uh, in Calgary, Alberta. Right now. Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, I'm not sure exactly because I haven't checked the latest uh, postings, but I know that we got two gold so far. And, um, you know, the tournament will be finished, I think, on Sunday, yeah. uh, which is tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll have a better idea exactly oh. how we did. That's and cool. um, last year we had, uh, we brought back from the Nationals uh, 15 medals, 10 gold, uh, Two silver and three bronze last year. And that's crazy. Yeah. Like that, that's worldwide. Yeah. So. And uh, actually one of our competitors last year at the world championships, she got a bronze medal. Yeah. World. World. world champions. World championships, yeah. So. Yeah, that year, um, Canada had only won two medals at the world. And uh, my club, uh, well, or my girl was one of the girls that won, the, won a medal. Out of Canada itself. Yeah. And that's all through Markham Taekwondo, right? Yeah. Markham Taekwondo. So check that out, guys. I mean, that's it's such a, a great facility. I've seen a lot of their, their postings and stuff. And um, it's absolutely a, a really good, good school, good academics. You know, they got they got a lot to offer, you know, and it's not about, you know, discipline and discipline and, and, and beat the shit out of everybody. But it's a it's a good place. So. Yeah, for sure. Awesome, dude. For now, I'll uh, pause the video because I'm going to do uh, some time warp traveling to where we need to go. So give us a minute and uh, we'll get right back to you guys. Take it easy. That's... So now we are. Hello, we're back again. So we are now, after a bit of a detour, we kind of screwed up. I screwed up. I'll take the blame for that one. We were supposed to go through Brace Bridge onto Russo Point. We ended up in Huntsville, working our way down through Russo Point. But it was a screw up, but it was still a good 
kind of a screw up due to the fact that um, it was a nice little road that we did there that we just got finished off. Now this is the Russo road point which I always enjoy. Which is going to be like this the whole way, John. So. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So. You can see the ground is a little bit wet, but not not too too bad. So. Yeah, it's okay. Just you got to work through your gears. That's all. Yeah. But yeah, like this is the this is the road that I'd like to take the guys on, on that group ride. Right. So. This is the fun part. You're not getting any uh, static feedback. No, no see, nope. where I'm getting the static feedback now. So every once in a while, when I, when I connect it, yeah. slow down a bit. Oh, see, like this is where the guys, sport bike guys or sport cars, yeah. go through and they kick up the freaking gravel. Yeah, it was a bit there. Yep. So you just gotta watch that every once in a while. So a lot of times it's you get the, uh, the groups coming up with their Ferraris and uh, and uh, McLarens and Porsches, a bit of gravel here too. And they kind of kick, they kick up the freaking gravel because they cut the corners. Right. It's like, guys, come on. You don't need to cut the corner that much. So. Oh, they think they're freaking very Andretti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm really happy though that I decided to, to take on the, uh, the FZ9. Thanks to my father. I gotta make sure I do a shout out for you there, Mr. Christopher Dyer. Woohoo, you rock, man. This ride has been sponsored by my daddy. <laughs> Good old dad. Good old dad sometimes, eh? So, yeah. You think come next September, not this September, next September, they're 16. So uh, I told them we'll get two little R3s, you know, because mm -hmm. that's it. They're no longer allowed to be after. Once you're 16, you can't double up. Two guys cannot double up on a bike unless you're stranded. So, yeah. So no. Is that what he's looking for, an R3? No, that's what I would, I would be willing to get him. He wants an R6 oh. and all that shit. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> okay. You you keep on dreaming there, buddy. You know, yeah. once you're out of a YouTube world and, and you're in the real world and, and start thinking rationally, you can start with an R3. Hmm. You know, it's, it's going to be more than enough for what they are. Yeah. You know, Bailey, she wants the FZ7, but I said, uh, start with an R3 and then we'll take it from there, right? Yeah. So. Have your kids ever been on a bike, like a dirt bike or anything? Oh God, yeah, they got tons of they got tons of uh, time. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that, I okay. I am not worried about that whatsoever. So yeah, so now we've kind of skipped a bit for, further forward here. So now we're on a different road. Again, uh, still got John leading uh, behind me here, and now we're on Southwood Road heading south. So we're kind of going back towards uh, Aurelia. So we've been out for uh, 26 days and, and 37 hours, riding on a single tank of gas, and eating squirrels. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, a little road that we all like to normally take when we kind of head north. It's a is the Southwood Road. So it's just a, a basic road, but it's well known within the motorcycle community. So. This is just kind of like a little touch, a little preview for you guys. Hopefully, like I said, I want to stop up here where I can take the Mavic out because uh, it's not going to rain, so we should be fine. Mm -hmm. I'd like to take the Mavic out. No, I don't think we're going to fly over us because the problem is we'd have to be so high. And I hate that those trees would cut us, cut the, uh, the visual aspect of it. And right. then there's these power lines, so I can't fly it low. I don't know. We'll see. Yes but it should be coming up fairly soon where we can get that pull stop. And like I said, I'd like to take some uh, some photographs. Remember, I don't know if you were there, you were there last time when we parked. It was all uh, just a rocky plain area. Yeah, exactly. The opening. So all the guys, they come up here and they do a lot of stargazing. Oh, And I'm okay. like, sure, I think you guys just come up here and do some backyard, back, back seat stargazing. <laughs> Yeah, I love these parts here like this. Oh yeah. That is so nice. So at least it's not so bad. It's, it's still fairly, uh, oof. A bit of sand. Yeah, 
I'm happy we got this one. Yeah. Oh. Nice little trees too. I like this area. Such a nice little area. Oh, for sure. I'm surprised we haven't seen that many sport cars sand. Oh no, it's just dirty road. So. Yeah, not too many today. Yeah. That was it. Was that it? You want to yeah. turn around? Yeah, I can't. are you able to? Yeah, it's a bit of a limousine turning radius, but I'll make it. You sure? Okay. Yeah. I'll park it here. Okay, what I'd like to do, if I, you all right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, just there. Oh. Like this? Yeah, back it up. And then angle it this way. Oh, you're like, a, like an L? Yeah, yeah, like an L. Yeah, bring it. Oh, okay. There we go, that's good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be nice. That makes for some nice photographs.